Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Keeping it very simple on a Sunday morning, sometimes simple is good. Big, easy-to-understand breakthroughs in solar forcing of cyclones and earthquakes to report today, while we begin, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find that things were pretty quiet. We had no significant solar flaring at all. Filament eruptions have been entirely confined to the limbs in the far side, not directed towards the Earth. Solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are calming down from the previous coronal hole stream. And here, you can see why the flaring is so low despite the flurry of sunspots. They're all relatively small, not magnetically complex enough for bigger flares. Sometimes, the sunspot number itself doesn't tell you the space weather story. Folks, news articles like this are a dime a dozen after the last two days. Prayers that cleanup goes well as today the storm system only has the coastline to go, then should be out of our hair, thankfully. Up first in the articles, we find a good one on solar forcing of cyclone frequency. Caribbean events seem to surge based on solar forcing, something we've seen studied and confirmed in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian oceans already, so why not here too? They also found that since the last disaster about 6,000 years ago, there has indeed been an increasing trend of cyclone activity. Today's top story. Well, hope we've been watching the channel the last 36 hours to understand why this is relevant. How nice of top scientists to slide this paper on solar forcing of earthquake activity into the mix. They tie it here to geomagnetic activity, which is always a good one, but it is one of the longer lag times to discharge release and seismic action. They point at the electrokinetic effect, which is one of the things we touched on in our premier work called How to Predict Earthquakes. Folks, next big events at the ranch for observers are right here. I'm going to get you a better list soon of the observer days at the ranch, but with at least two or three days notice, even on days I'm not scheduled to be out there, I can be out there and see you. Planning your trip starts at observerranch.com, and if you have questions, yeah, you can just call us. Greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.